Oh, definitely had a night out. I got snacks in my bag. 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 I merely rocked in What's up, man? It's your boy Snack King Cole, and I am here. And I'm hungry. Now listen, people. My GM just got back from Japan, and I you know I told her, bring your boy back some snacks. So she did. She brought me back a bunch of snacks. So we're going to do a little bit of unboxing, but kind of like a Taco Bell box because none of this stuff is in a box. It's all right here in front of me scattered. Um, I have my list of what this stuff is-ish, and we're just going to try it out real quick, okay? Let's just have a little bit of fun. So the first one we're going to start off with, because we're going to get this thing to rolling. You know what I mean? Because I got a bunch of snacks, and y'all get bored easily. You know what I mean? So we're going to get to it. Uh, this right here is Hokkaido. 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 Hokkaido chocolate, okay? This is supposed to be bomb out there. They're supposed to be loving this out there. You know what I mean? So we're going to see what they taste buds be like. Uh, it comes in a little thing like that, a little cow, mm, you know? I really hope none of this stuff is dark chocolate, because your boy don't like dark chocolate at all. This is looking kind of dark. It looks like a little jar or something. I don't know what that is right there. That's that's weird. Let's go ahead and just bite into it. Oh, pray for me. It almost is like a, like a dark chocolate... York or something like that. Like there's this white cream inside of it. I don't know what it is. And this is dark chocolate off the gate, right? Oh man, I hate dark chocolate. Yuck. It kind of tastes like that a little bit, like a, a, a York peppermint patty, but not so pepperminty in there. It's like a York chocolate patty or something like that. I don't know. It wasn't bad. Obviously, it's dark chocolate. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, so. I'd probably never do that again. Next, we have this Kit Kat. It is an apple pie Kit Kat. What? I feel like this is going to be a win right here, man. Let me just clean my palate real quick. All right, so this is looking sexy. It's looking sexy. It's looking pink. I've never had it. Uh, but you can smell like the apple pie. Okay. At this moment here, I try to figure out what the heck did I just put in my mouth. Okay. Um, that definitely tastes like some super artificial apples in there. It's no like an Oreo apple pie kind of thing where you can actually really taste it. It tastes like, like an apple pie out of a vending machine almost. Not horrible, but definitely not messing with the regular Kit Kats at all by any means. You can keep that, Japan. Next, or well, we're skipping that, and you'll know why. This is the Raspberry Kit Kat. Another one. I feel like this could be kind of good. I might take some of this home to the wife. She just eats raspberries right off the trees and stuff like that. I don't know. Anglo-Saxons do the craziest thing. You know what I mean? Looks nice. You can see some little specks in there. Why do I continue to do this to myself? This is nasty. Ugh. That was horrible. Oh, oh. Ugh. 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 That was horrible. Wow. Like, my, my stomach is just full of... I, I might go vegan after this, man. The artificialness in my stomach right now is killing me. Uh, that, that was bad, bad. Like, that was bad. We got chips. Uh, they're like potato chips. They look like french fries a little bit. We're going to see what these are about, okay? I don't know. If you want to read the, the stuff on the back. <laughs> it's a joke because you can't read it. Uh, unless you're, like, I don't have any followers from Japan. That would suck. Sorry. So it looks just like a regular french fry from McDonald's. Let's see what it's about. Yeah. 
is this actually good? <laughs> it tastes like a, fr a french fry from McDonald's. Dead serious. Um, it just tastes like a french fry that's like kind of overcooked but not hot at the same time. Like, you know, when they overcook your fries but then they send it to you and so they're not hot. This isn't really bad at all. I think my daughter would love these right here. Oh my goodness. I think these might have been just old fries. Hands down the best thing I've tasted. Which is weird. Old fries is the best thing I've tasted. But that's a simple fact. Uh, Jenga, Jaga, Jaga bees. I just got chips on my paper right here. Maybe I should wrote some names down. Um, yeah, I like those though. Yeah, best thing I've tasted so far. So we have these right here, which is chocolate biscuits. Enjoy the superb taste of chocolate in a biscuit made with the finest ingredients. So we're gonna slide in here and see what this is like, man. So this is what it looks like right here. You see a little biscuit. You got the little chocolate backing on there right here, labeled and everything. Got a, a ship on there. So let's see what this is about. We're just gonna pop this. This ain't bad, but it sure heck ain't good either. <sighs> All right, so this isn't bad. Like I can see like, um, I probably definitely would eat these. But it would be like, um, I don't have nothing else. I guess I'll go ahead and eat those. Like, yeah, it kind of tastes like a Twix without the caramel center. That's exactly actually what it tastes like. A biscuit with chocolate. Because it, it's missing something in there to separate it a little bit more. I did like the chocolate. I did like the cracker. It wasn't cracker cracker. You know what I mean? Or biscuit, excuse me. It wasn't super hard or crunchy. It was, it was nice and soft along with the chocolate. So it went together very well. Uh, probably second best thing on this menu so far. Uh, these right here are unknowns. <laughs> she didn't know She didn't know what these were and whoever had the packaging threw the packaging out. So we gonna just see what it do, man. I feel like these are, these are biscuits because they came with these. This one says caramel biscuit on top of it. We're gonna say that for last. This one did not say anything, but it looks like a biscuit with chocolate in the inside. If you can see that. So it has chocolate in the inside. So we're gonna see what it did. Yo, now we talking, yeah. Okay, Japan. It's almost like a sugar cookie on the outside. And then you got your chocolate on the inside. It, this is pretty yummy right here. Mmm. Just got bumped to number one. Wow. Let's go to the caramel one. This feels a little thicker than the other one, so I don't know if it's going to be the same. Maybe that wasn't a biscuit. I don't know. Oh, this one's broke. <clears throat> I'm broke, baby. So I think it's supposed to be the same thing. So this one has a white center right here. What the heck? Now, it's funny how they call these caramel bites, but it tastes more like white chocolate. It was yummy, though. It was yummy. Definitely up there with those. I'm going to put them in the same category just so I don't lose myself. I liked it. The thicker, they was, these were a little bit more thicker. I don't know if y'all saw that, how thick the caramel was. Um, so I like that a little bit better, but it is what it is. Oreo crisp, which I can assume is a brownie. So these are like... These are smaller than the thins, you know what I mean? Like, you know, we got the thins and they come in a package. Like, this is full of these. So I don't even know how many are in here. This is like a big package. I meant to grab the one that was already open. Um, Cause I don't, you know, I don't do chocolate like that. So I don't even know if I'm gonna eat all these, but look how thin that bad boy is. You just. Well, they, they barely put anything in there. So that's fun. I mean, it can't really do too much because it's the thin one. Now, these aren't bad. Definitely tastes like a brownie. Uh -uh. <clears throat> I, I wouldn't mind them, but I, I would need like some milk or something like that. I would actually like them a little bit better if they was fatter, you know what I mean? Because that brownie taste is really coming through. Um, I like these, I like these a lot. 
Good, good job with those. All right, all right. So here it is, the grand finale. I have the last Kit Kat, which is red beans and mo mochi, mochi, mochi. Red beans and mochi, what are you doing? And especially after eating a raspberry and apple pie and I didn't like those, I got red beans and mochi. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh my goodness. Matter of fact, just turn this video off. Nah, I'll do it, I'll do it. Who oh, I am. I had soy sauce and vanilla ice cream. I'm not scared of nothing. All right. <coughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah, it's official. This snack stuff ain't for me. I'm going back to battle rap vlogs. Nah, player. Mm-mm. That sounds like I just, I just, that feels like I just put a good year in my mouth. I definitely just ate a tire. <coughs> oh my God. That was disgusting. Oh, oh, it's still there. It's not going away. It's like an X. I'm done with you. I'm moving on. You should move on too. Be happy. <coughs> That's disgusting. I was really intrigued with these Kit Kats. I know I've tried to get like a basket of Kit Kats from Japan because they got like all kind of stuff out there. But I, I couldn't find one that that, um, that I trusted enough. That was, you know what I mean? Because sometimes with that eBay and Amazon stuff, you got to just be careful. Um, if I was to go with my favorite out of the whole bunch, the Caramel Bites. Uh, with the Chocolate Bites going with a close second. Um, these Oreo crisps are pretty good. I'm going to take them home to the family. I'm sure they'll love those. These fries weren't too bad either. Uh, I'm taking these home to my to my daughter, man. She she just loves eating cold fries. Like, she'll eat fries from, like, two days ago. If you guys have any extra fries at your house, please just ship them to me. She loves those things. She loves old fries. And then this coming with a close third. I mean, close fourth. <laughs> this coming with the fourth. Uh, the chocolate... The chocolate joint I ate at the beginning, the the ho the ho hokandu ho hokana hokandu, I, I, I'm good off those. I'm good. I, I'll probably never see those again. These Kit Kats, I'm pretty much good on anything. I, anything Kit Kat. If it's not the chocolate or the white chocolate Kit Kat, I don't want no plot, no, no parts of it. You know what I mean? But that that scared me for life. Too much artificial flavor in there. They need to holla at Oreo or Lay's and try to figure out how they can make their Kit Kats better. Kit Kat, you're better than this. I'm, I'm disappointed in you. I don't know if that's how they like that stuff out there, but I'm disappointed in you because you're better than this. Um, it's your boy, Snack King Cole, man. Konnichiwa. Peace.